It's hard to say whether protesters are generally afraid to talk to the McIver News Service or whether they're really not happy with the ACLU. I, just want to, I, don't, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to ask you about the ACLU. Care. I don't Can I just get your uh, reaction real quick to the ACLU? Uh, nope. I just wonder what your guys take on the ACLU. Uh, no, I'm not giving it. Any All right. <laughs> the Wisconsin Department of Administration has been trying to get protesters to take out permits for the Capitol Rotunda in order to avoid scheduling conflicts with other groups that want to use the space. The ACLU argued the protesters don't need permits and sued the Walker administration over it. But on Tuesday, the ACLU settled out of court. Now any event involving more than 12 people in the Capitol needs to give two days advance notice or be declared unlawful. I was only able to find one protester willing to share his thoughts about the ACLU decision. I think it's way overdue. I think it's a total embarrassment for the Walker administration and a total embarrassment for Dave Irwin, who took what was once a very well-respected police force and turned it into basically a, a brute squad. For this protester at least, going online and giving Capitol Police two days notice is not the same thing as having to take out a permit. So let's put it this way, um, the Capitol Police, the entire DOA and the entire Walker administration already knows we're here every day at noon. It's kind of silly to say, oh, you need to do this for something that's... Besides, there is no... I mean, everybody in Madison knows you come here at noon during the weekdays. There's no, oh, we have to, we're going to organize today and get together. That never happens. It's just a spontaneous thing that's been happening for over two years, and I don't see it coming to an end. Sounds Anytime good. soon. On Wednesday, there was an event in the rotunda, so protesters went outside. Two of them decided to protest outside the governor's second story window, while the rest gathered at State Street to sing the songs they always sing. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.